When you play video games, most of the time characters are moving from left to right. Like Super Mario Brothers, they run from left to right. Now look up the wall and see the clocks. They move clockwise, that is, to the right. When you see the logo of YouTube, what do you see? Play button that heading left to right. As you can see, we naturally assign attributes to left and right in our lives. We read books from left to right. This could be related to the fact that most people are right-handed. We eat, write, and use tools, usually with the right hand. Right-handedness, being more common, seems the default. Why do we live in a right-handed world, and why do left-handers still exist? This is independent of time, place, and gender. Most of humanity has been, and still is, right-handed. The global ratio of right-handed to left-handed people is roughly 9.1, with left-handers being about 10% worldwide. In countries like Korea, Japan, and China, statistics are slightly lower, around 2 to 5%. The highest proportion of left-handers is in the Netherlands, at 13.2%. Most ancient human artifacts and fossils suggest right-hand use. Australopithecus appeared around 5 million years ago, and modern humans 200,000 years ago, indicating a long-standing preference for the right hand. Biologists studied this and they said it might be the cause due to brain hemisphere asymmetry. The right body side is controlled by the left brain, the left side by the right brain. The left brain typically handles spatial perception calculative judgment, language ability, and sociability, while the right brain manages visual images, emotions, and intuitive judgment. Human evolution and civilization may have favored right-handedness due to the dominance of the left brain in areas such as cooperation, logical thinking, and language. Consequently, cultural practices, ranging from dining to writing, have evolved to predominantly accommodate right-handed individuals. The direction of writing varies across different civilizations, adapting to various cultural and practical needs. For right-handers, writing from left to right might seem more convenient, but this isn't a universal standard. For instance, languages like Arabic and Hebrew, which originated from the ancient Phoenician script, are traditionally written from right to left. This directionality has a practical origin. The Phoenician script involved carving letters into rock using tools like chisels and hammers, which were likely designed with right-handed users in mind. For them, carving from right to left was more manageable and efficient. However, when the Greeks adopted the Phoenician script, they modified it, reversing the writing direction. This change influenced the development of the Roman, Cyrillic scripts and English today, which are written from left to right. In contrast, East Asian scripts, including Chinese characters, have a unique tradition. They were traditionally written on long bamboo strips. This format naturally led to a vertical writing style, where lines changed to the left as one wrote downwards. Like writing direction, traffic direction also varies globally, reflecting historical and practical influences. In the majority of countries, vehicles are driven on the right side of the road, and drivers sit on the left side of the car. This arrangement is influenced by historical right-handed preferences. In Britain, the tradition of driving on the left side of the road dates back to times before automobiles. When horse-drawn carriages were common, coachmen typically sat on the right side of the carriage. This position allowed them to use their dominant right hand to manage the horses with whips, ensuring the safety of passengers and pedestrians. This historical preference for right-handed actions contributed to Britain's establishment of left-side traffic laws, with drivers continuing to sit on the right side of the car. Conversely, in the early 20th century, a significant change in vehicle design occurred, particularly influenced by advancements in Germany and the United States. Vehicles began to be manufactured with the driver's seat on the left side, accommodating the majority of drivers who are right-handed. This design, placing the driver on the left, allows for easier access to the center-positioned gear shift and other controls, making it more ergonomic for right-handed drivers. Most languages associate the left with negative and the right with positive connotations. Left-handers faced significant social discrimination, which has largely disappeared today 
but was widespread until a few decades ago. In civilizations like Greece and the Zhou dynasty, it was emphasized that children should be taught to use their right hand from a young age. Later, religions like Hinduism and Islam prescribed the use of the left hand for unclean tasks like attending to nature's call, while the right hand was reserved for eating and other activities, clearly delineating their uses. In places like Europe and Mongolia, where war was a part of daily life, the left hand was often seen as a symbol of betrayal and misfortune. Everyone carried weapons in their right hand, so showing an empty right hand during a handshake was a way to reassure the other person of peaceful intentions. Encountering a left-hander was risky because they could strike with their left hand while shaking hands with their right. Okay, then why aren't left-handed people distinguished? If society is predominantly right-handed, Shouldn't natural selection lead all humans to be right-handed? Despite thousands of years of discrimination, left-handers managed to survive ironically because they had no need to conform to the majority. In unpredictable situations like duels, being left-handed was an advantage. Medieval European castles often have spiral staircases turning clockwise, designed to favor defenders who, being mostly right-handed, had more freedom to move their sword arm but a left-handed attacker would have the same advantage. All strategies designed for right-handers become useless against left-handers, which is why they were favored in battles. In sports, often compared to modern duels, left-handers excel more than others. Sports is one of the fields with the highest proportion of left-handers. In sports involving direct competition, like dancing, table tennis, and tennis, left-handers have an advantage. While the right hand symbolizes cooperation and community, the left hand might represent competition and individuality. Famous left-handers, often considered intelligent, include many artists and military leaders, possibly inheriting a fighter's instinct from millions of years ago. Being left-handed can be inconvenient, but it offers unique advantages in competition. The 9-1 ratio of right-handers to left-handers in humanity might reflect a life of 90% cooperation and 10% competition. So, that's it for today.